Hey everybody, it's the Walker. So what are we doing today? Well, today is Solar Sunday. And what we're doing is a review of the Nikkor NL1826R. That's a uh, actually a 18650 battery, but it's special because it has a built-in charger. Let's take a look at this. Here it is. First thing we'll do is compare it to other um, batteries. This has a protection circuit. This one doesn't. This is a 3500 milliamp hour, I believe it's a Sanyo. This is a uh, Keep Power 3500 milliamp hour battery as well. These two are going to be about um, pretty much the same size. This one's going to be shorter, unprotected battery, protected battery. Now if you notice the capacity is lower than say this battery right here. That's just, <laughs> that's pretty much how it came. At first I thought, I've had this battery for a while, and first I thought it was because of the, um, see the top has a little um, USB plug. So I thought it might be because of that, because it needed room for the um, charging feature. However, right now they have a 3400 milliamp hour model of the same battery, so I don't know. But in any case, this is the one I own. It's still for sale. I think it's something like 11 or 12 bucks. So it's slightly pricier than your average uh, 18650 battery, but of course it has the extra features. I'll show you. Plugs in. I get it right. There we go. I always, I don't know, I always fiddle around with micro USB plug, you know, and more so in the cold. So when you turn it on, I don't know if you can see, there's a little red light right here. That goes on. and it indicates that it's charging. When it's done charging, this green light here will turn on. What's the rate of charge we're getting? So we can, maybe I can try to shield this from the backlight a little bit, might help it out. Okay, so it's around five, five volts and 0.73 amps. This is listed as a, um, I think it's 800 milliamp hour charger. So if I'm, if I'm remembering, if I'm remembering correctly, it's not quite one amp, but pretty close. So it seems to be performing exactly, um, what it's rated for. One other thing. I don't know if you see the words, but it says hot. Yeah, it's, it's actually kind of hot. So put that in consideration when you go to use it. Speaking of consideration, this is of course, Solar Sunday. So the real question is, how did it perform with the solar panel? Let's check. It's like um, 0.81, um, around 0 0.4, uh, 4.8, 4.78 volts by 0 0.72 amps, which is going to make around um, 3.5.
Now we'll try to obstruct the um, obstruct the view of the solar panel. Dropped it all the way down to nothing. Instantly recovers. We'll try this again. So we did a partial obstruction. Instantly recovers. And it performed pretty darn good. Um, overall, it charged at the rate that I was advertised to charge and I was unable to create a charging error. Let's see um, how well it can char it um, works with flashlights. This is a Viking by Army Tech. One of my favorite flashlights actually because it's got a great mix of um, throw but it's also floody it's more it's a uh, floodier than my um, predator so for the New England woods it's like a big cone of light it's awesome okay we fit in no problem one thing too I've used this on a variety of lights some of the lights I've had the um, metal soft, I mean not lights, uh, batteries, the metal soft and the springs kind of eat into the, um, the 18650 or whatever plate they put on these batteries. This one here, there's a minor scuffing, but it's not eating, the spring isn't actually eating, in, eating into it. So that's kind of a nice thing. People who use these batteries will know what I'm talking about with that. All right. neutral white. Works no problem. I think we'll go with um, a headlamp next. Hold on. One thing I've learned, I always put the tail cap back, even if you're reviewing something. Entropy runs wild, you know. There we go. And let's see. This is an Army Tech Wizard. No problems. Now, can it actually work in a regular charger? Let's find out. Charging. This one's gonna be a bit difficult to see, but um, it's charging at Basically an amp, uh, 1.02 to um, 0.99 of an amp. So basically it's charging at one amp and at 5.2 volts. So it does appear. You can charge it using a regular charger, which is this one amp charger is slightly faster than the regular plug. But of course, makes the combined size larger. The main reason why I got this um, for my solar rigs, a lot of them have very small pockets. That's it. It's 
a lot easier than um, putting a, like a big charger in there or it's a lot easier than putting trying to fit two uh, chargers in there because it's redundancy and it's a backup and that's why I got it in case the primary charger goes down and I'm running batteries and gear that take 18650 batteries well I won't be left out without an option and options are never a bad thing all right if you like what you've seen give me a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and y'all have a great day and as always thanks for watching